Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all well. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to retrieve data from our MongoDB database and how to use that data in our React frontend. So today's video is going to be an interesting video. So let's go ahead. So how to retrieve data from our MongoDB database like we have suppose we have to retrieve this data this product data so here we are going to create another API to get the data okay to get the data so like this here as we can add the product we have to get the product and here we are going to use a get method as you can see the post means to post some data and here we are going to use get to get some data okay so here app dot get app dot get and here type products dot get to get the data okay so now inside it we get the request means request or response as a parameter and then here we are going to access this products schema and inside it we want to find our data error suppose if uh, here we are going to run a callback function inside this find method error or data and then we want to run a statement if error it will send the data response the data status 500 dot send error similarly run a else statement here res dot status 200 dot send data and save it okay so this is the api and this is the method from which we can get the data from our products from our product schema this is the schema this is the model this is the collection okay now we have to get the data now we have uh, create an api from which we can get the data so now go to the uh, our home page go to our home page where our products display go to the product home page of our front end and here we are going to use a use effect here use effect means uh, it will run the data before rendering okay so use effect run the function before rendering not a data so use effect and this is the method from which you can grab the data from database or from backend you can run something some function like filter function if you want to uh, run a filter function you have to do it in a use effect okay so use effect and then a callback function inside it now here we are going to fetch a data so const fetch a data fetch a data and this function is going to be a synchronized function so type a sync and then the arrow function and here we go on to grab a data const data is equals to await and we get the data from our axios so just type axios which is from our file axios file and then get as the get method as we want to get some data so that get product and then get okay and this will get some data now we have to console it to see that data so console.log 
data and we just type products so to understand the data products and data okay and now we have to run this fetch data function fetch data function okay and we have to run this use effect every every uh, render means every time the page refresh we have to run this use effect function okay so put a empty bracket of dependency okay now we just create it now go to the console of our home page and type inspect and click on console and as you can see the products which having an object appear and object inside this there is a data which having an array and you can see this is the first data which is our mouse and the second data which is our iphone 13 pro so we can successfully grab our data from our database now we have to use this data in our front end okay as you can see as you can see here this is hard coded product hard coded product so the, the car this is the hard coded we have to make this a card uh, according to our database means suppose there is a, a two products so it will appear only two products so for that we have to store this data in our in a state variable okay so first of all we have to create a state variable const products and then set a products equals to use state and the initial must be an empty string and then and then we have to import the use state and now we want to store the data set products equals to data so we can store the data that we grab from our mongodb into a products state okay now we have to use this product state and make a loop here inside a main make a loop here so just remove this extra card and we have to make a map okay so we have to use a map function here so products if products exist then and only then we have to run this thing so if product exists then products dot map products dot oh sorry products dot data dot map and inside this products dot data we get the particular product we get the particular product and here we want to re-render it using this card using this card control x and paste it here and save it so as you can see there is only a two product so it will appear only two product okay now we have to make it hard coded so here we want only id is equals to product dot underscore id so this is the id and instead of this image we want product dot image image url and whenever i click on it it doesn't work why because image url is not appearing i didn't see that image is not stored inside it why because we just misspell it 
in our add product so here add product image url but in our schema products dot schema we forgot capital l okay so this is the problem this is the thing now we have to correct this thing and we have to add a product again so delete the another uh, products these products and again we have to store the product so copy this image so copy image address and go to react app this then the title is this price is 11900 and the rating is 5 star and we have to add the product so we can add the product successfully go to the our home page and you can see image is appearing now successfully okay now we have to assign a price here so product dot product dot price save it so price is appearing now now similarly we have to assign a rating so product dot rating save it and we have to refresh it again and as you can see here five star rating is appearing now similarly we have to type product dot title and save it and as you can see the title is also appearing now now we can use the particular data from our mongodb database using our node js backend similarly we have to add some another add another product here now we suppose we want to add a uh, iphone 13 in the gold color so just copy the image so just simply copy image address go to our react page type this here email paste image url here then this title here which having a gold color so just type gold and the price is going to be a 12999 and the rating is 4.5 4.5 and add a product and whenever you go back to the home page and as you can see the product appear which having a gold color and the price is similarly now we have to add some another products uh, like just go to think like uh, i watch now just click on it copy the image address click on the search button to add a product then the e blue aluminium and then just paste it here price is going to be a 54000 and the price 4 rating 4.5 add a product and as you can see the product is now added now as you can see now as you can see this is the method from which you can add the product by visiting the add product page and by typing some data it posts that data to our server.js which having a, a api products.add and this api particular api add the product details to our mongodb database okay so this is the thing in this video and from this video you can learn how to add data to our mongodb database and how to get data from our mongodb database so if you like this video please subscribe share with your friend press the like button and thank you for watching guys